Today I'm going to show you some of the movie jukebox programs uh, and how nicely they run on the all-new C200 network media tank from Popcorn Hour. Uh, if you want to know more about the, the C200 Popcorn Hour, go to popcornhour.com or networkmediatank.com. I'm going to go to the hard drive here from the source menu, select the hard drive, and go run the My Little Movie Jukebox. I'm not going to go over this one too much because I've already went over this one in detail uh, on another video on YouTube. So if you want to know more about the My Little Movie Jukebox, just look for my other program on YouTube. Uh, runs nice and fast. I'll go select 27 dresses, run that, and you can see the movie detail screen come up. And from here, all I have to do is press play to go run the movie. Come back to the menu. Go look at 1408. See that come up, the nice cover and the fan art, uh, black and white fan art in the background. There are 100 movie covers being displayed on the screen now. Uh, so you can see it's running it pretty fast. Let me go to science fiction movies. Go display those. Go to Children of Men. So as you can see, that's running spiffy. Go back to the main screen. Okay, let's go back to the source menu. And I'll show you, this time I'll show you yet another movie jukebox. Uh, I'm going to go to, this one is running on a network off of a hard drive on my network. So let me go run that. And this is yet another movie jukebox running. As you can see, I've got it set up for seven movies across the screen by three rows. 21 movies per page. Across the top are the letters of the alphabet, so you can see movies that begin with a D or any other letter of the alphabet. Uh, I'll go to F. And you can see we have some movies there. I'll press the return to come back. Nice and crisp. Let's go down to Dougal. Highlight Dougal and press Enter. And you see the movie detail screen for Dougal comes up. All of the movie jukebox programs, you can always select how you want the movie cover to appear on the details page. This one, I've got perspective turned on and reflections. Looks real nice. On the left side of the screen on yet another movie jukebox, we have all of the genres. And we can go select any one of those. I'll go to drama. And you can see that they come up. Let's go down and select uh, Dracula. And the movie detail screen for that one comes up. Go up and select Sherry. And it appears. Nice little program. Many thanks to a guy named Omertron on Network Media Tank for working so hard on this program. Very nice program. Okay, I'm going to press the source screen now, and I'm going to go over to Web Services, and I'm going to run the dynamic yet another movie jukebox. And you see I've got it set up for seven movies across by three rows. Um, I've got uh, genres over on the left. As you can see, I highlight them. Uh, plus, I can filter my movies at the top there by title, rating, from newest to oldest, uh, release date, standard definition, high definition, or DVD. Uh, the nice thing about Dynamic Movie Jukebox is that I can, if I don't like the way the screen is being displayed right now, I can change it. Up across the top are all the function keys to do that. Number three there uh, is thumbs. So if I press the number three key button on my remote, 
I'll change how the thumbnails are displayed on the screen. Let me go do that. So instead of seven across, we go to a display that shows ten across by four rows. I like this mode the best. But if you don't like that, you can also press three again and cycle to five movies across by two rows. So it's very easy to change between these modes and use the menu uh, like you want it. Now I'm going to go back to uh, seven across. Let's go look at uh, one of the movies. Let's go to 1408. And you can see we have uh, it show the movie detail screen shows up uh, for us. Again, the movie details, if you don't like the way it's set up, we have three different ones that we can choose and pick from. If you press the setup button on your remote, it will go from this one to a second one. So you can have all of your movie details show like this instead of the first way. Or I'll press setup again. And you can have it go to a third option. Very nice because it gives you all of the ability to select whichever one you like the best. Across the bottom, you'll see that we have uh, trailers, plot. There's the plot information for this. I'll go to the right again and show you the cast. There you see we have all of the actor information, John Cusack, his photo, and a little bit about his background. If I press the up arrow, we'll go to the next actor on this movie. Samuel Jackson, showing his photos. Up again, third actor, Mary McCormick. And so on, there's Tony Shalom. Okay, let's go back to the menu. Uh, also, uh, we can group movies. Uh, you can see there uh, I've got a two movie box set on uh, 28 weeks later. I'll press enter there and it goes and shows both of those movies. I press 28 days later. We go to the movie detail screen for that one. Or I can go to 28 weeks later and see that detail screen. press return again and come back to the main menu. To go through all the rest of the menu pages, you can either just scroll down or press page down to go through the various pages. Also across the top of the uh, screen are some other functions. Here we've got it highlighted up there on movies. That's where I'm at now. If I want to go view all of the TV shows, I'll press enter on that. And you see that I've got all of the movie, the TVs displayed. I can go see the seasons. There's Dexter. Come back out. And so on. The next one up on top is music. I can go select and look at the music. Very easy to do so. Also, I've got a menu button. So let's go back to our movies first. And as we saw on the left, we have all the movie uh, genres there that we can select from. I want to go to horror. I can't. Let's go up though on menu and if I press menu instead of sorting and putting the genres on the left you see it's now we have the alphabet. So if I want to go see a movie that begins with H I can't. There are five or six different ways we can cycle through the movies by country, by decade, uh, all by pressing the menu button. So there you have it, a nice quick run through showing you uh, some of the movie jukeboxes that you can run 